Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, today, once again, I have shared few more interview questions that has been asked to me. So, the very first question is, what is the difference between union and union all? What are the conditions or you can say basic requirements for both and which one is faster? So, if we talk about union, union only returns unique values whereas union all returns all the records even including the duplicate values as well so this is the very basic difference between both that union all also includes the duplicates values in the output whereas union only includes the distinct values so now come to the conditions or the basic requirements for both you may be either using union or maybe using union all the conditions are similar for both First basic requirement is there must be same number of expressions in both the select statements if either it is union or union all. The second condition is the corresponding expression. In the first condition we said that there should be the same number of expressions and the second condition is for those same number of expressions we should have the similar data type in both the select statement. Let's say we have just one expression in both the select statement. In that case, let's say if in the first select statement, the data type we have used is an integer, then in second select statement, the same data type that is an integer data type should be used. Okay, so these are quite simple. There must be same number of expressions in both the select statement and the second condition is those corresponding expressions must have the same data type. You may be using union or union all. So now comes to which one is faster. So obviously union all is faster because it doesn't eliminate the duplicate rows from the data. Now let's come to the second question. What are the different type of functions in SQL or SQL and their use cases? So basically there are two types of functions. First one are we can say that built-in functions or even system defined functions and the second type is actually user defined now both the types it may be the system defined function or maybe the user defined but the sql functions basically they are uh, used where uh, we want to perform any task repeatedly so let's say uh, if we want to perform any function again and again in that case we can use sql function so when we talk about the use case, you know there are two types uh, built in and the user defined. So let's just imagine a scenario where you want to, let's say, uh, where you are writing a query where you need to add up, you know, series of values. There are number of values and you want to repeat, uh, repeatedly add those values. Obviously, um, this thing has, you know, a limitation. If you have limited number of values, let's say 10 values, 12 or maybe 20 values, you can add them. But definitely uh, when there will be number of values, let's say in thousands, millions, you can't perform it easily, right? So there will be an issue when the number of values keep on increasing. So in such kind of situation, in such a situation, you can use uh, some function, obviously, which is one of the built in SQL function or SQL function. So similarly, there are multiple uh, built-in or you can say that system-defined functions in SQL like uh, there are average, max, minimum, a lot more. There are string functions as well, trim, right? So these all are the built-in functions. And when we talk about the user-defined function, obviously, if we want to perform any you know, um, any you can say calculation or something on our own conditions, we can use user defined function. So let's come to the next question. What is a stored procedure? So it is very important actually. Stored procedure has been asked to me many times and you should be clear with the basic concepts. Stored procedure is actually a SQL code that you can obviously save and you can reuse it over and over again. You can also pass parameters to the stored procedure. So let's say if you have any, you know, piece of code or maybe SQL query that you want to write over and over again, you can store it as a stored procedure. Then you can just call it to execute it. So 
the very next question was after both the questions like functions and stored procedure the very next question was both are doing the same thing like i asked uh, i already told you like a function we use to perform the certain repetitive task okay the same thing is done by sql uh, sorry stored procedure as well we are doing the same thing for stored procedure we are also writing a piece of code and we are reusing it over and over again and the same thing we can do with function then what is the difference between both okay so in which scenario you are going to use function and in which you are going to use stored procedure so you should be familiar with the basic difference between both so let me let me tell you what is the difference so if we talk about stored procedure stored procedure we don't need to compile each and every time okay so we need to compile only once and we can execute it again and again which is not in the case of functions functions you need to compile every time before execution right moreover in stored procedure it's not mandatory to return a value it's optional up to us but in case of functions we always need to return a value sorry function always returns a value and if we talk about stored procedure can't be called from a function but obviously a function can be called from a stored procedure one more important difference is we can't call procedure within a procedure like you must be familiar with uh, calling a function within a function itself but that is not the case in case of stored procedure so these are the basic differences between the stored procedure and the function now let's come to the last question let's say we have a database where gender column values are interchanged by mistake now we need to write a query to change male to female and female to male in the gender column so here it is actually so if you say the employee name is vishal and the gender is female which is wrong actually divya male so this is actually wrong so we need to write a query where we can change all the gender where female we need to change it into male and where there is a male we need to change it into female so let's just go to sql workbench so here i have created a dummy uh, database and a dummy table just for uh, you know making it clear so if you see here here is a test data so these are just few values maybe 10 or 11 so here if you see vishal the gender is female divya the gender is male for rekha the gender is male for rahul the gender is female so now we need to uh, change these values in this gender column we need to change this female into male and male into female so we know we can use update and set statement here update is used to modify our already existing records so let's just use update so for update the table name is sorry test data and we need to set the values so the update actual syntax is update and then table name set obviously the column names so what or maybe the values you want to change and then there is a where condition but there is more optimized way to solve this query so solve this question so we will use update because this is already existing Uh, database so in this already existing record so we are going to update this table and we are going to set the values so the column name is gender and then we are going to actually use a case statement so you can use capital letters as well if you want but sql is not case sensitive okay so when which uh, statement we want to change like when gender is male then we want it as a female else what else male and we are going to end this so this is a case statement format actually case when the condition is there when the gender is male then what do you want as a resultant else what do you want and then end so this is the case statement syntax and we are going to update this and the column name gender let's just do this oh my bad there is some issue so this is nothing but 
actually the error is 1175 which is basically because we are using the safe update mode and it is by default no worries we can change it just go to add it and then preferences and then go to SQL editor and here you can uncheck this box because if it, uh, this is by default actually because otherwise whenever we are updating or deleting something we are using where clause even for updating I already told you update table name set column or the you know any changes where you want to make the changes and there is a where condition so where condition it with where condition it will work but since it is on so that's why it's giving an error if you don't want to go to the add it and you don't want to make the changes you can set it here as well you can disable this uh, you know safe update for, uh, here as well in this editor let's just now let's just run this oh uh, where is the output oh it's working it works so just to check select star from test data okay let's just see oh now if you see for Vishal there is a male for Divya there is female so we have changed all the values so this have basically interchanged the male into female and female into male so I hope you like the video if you have learned something new do like the video and please subscribe the channel thank you so much stay tuned bye bye